Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous sublimation project for you. Now, if you like sublimation projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we always have great ideas planned. But today, guys, we are sublimating on the much awaited Home Depot doormats. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. You know, I always love setting up my sublimation designs here. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create a template and size our design and then print in multiple sheets, okay? Because obviously our doormat is larger than a regular letter size printer. Now, if you have a large format printer, that is fine. You will probably be able to do this all in one print. But for those of us with a smaller format printer, uh, being able to combine multiple prints is really useful. And we do have a dedicated video on doing that with a garden flag already on YouTube. So if there's anything that we miss in today's video, make sure you check that one out for all the important information. But let's go ahead and start by uploading our SVG. We're just going to go to file and merge. And we want this no me's right here. Now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now I have already measured inside of the doormat, you know, there's a border along the outside, outside, but inside the doormat, we're looking at 24 inches wide and 12 inches high. So then what I can do is just bring my gnomes over and that would normally be a pretty good size. There is one more thing to take into consideration so we can get rid of our template. And let's go to our page setup because what I need to do is change my media size to letter. Because I could do this in, you know, four to six pages, but I think what I want to do is make this small enough so I can just combine three different pages all the way across, okay? So I'm going to turn on my print border. We're going to zoom back in. And I'm just going to, let's see, find the middle. And I'm lining this up with that print border. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now that means it will be smaller on our doormat, but that's okay. There we go. So now what I'll be able to do, well, first we want to flip it, mirror it. Now remember that I mirror in Silhouette Studio, but um, you can just as easily mirror on your printer settings. So just remember, do one or the other. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this and then I'll be able to print this page. And then I'm going to just come back up here to my line and then I'll print this page and I'll align again, and then I'll be able to print that page. So then when all three pages print, I'll be able to combine those for one final image to press. Now, just in case you wanna double check, I know I, I probably deleted that a little prematurely, but we can go 24 inches wide, 12 inches high, and just double check. That is still a really good size for our doormat, okay? I'm not disappointed with that at all. Now, if it looked too small, then I would absolutely go ahead and do those extra pages, but I'm not going to. That'll be good for our project today. So let's go ahead and head on over to our work area, and I will show you what it's like to put those together and press on these fantastic doormats. All right guys, so here we are. And what I have for you today, as you saw in the preview, is these really awesome doormats from Home Depot. Now, they can be a little hard to find. Um, I don't believe you can even order them online. You have to go get them in person. But if you can find them in store, they are very well worth it. So what I have is, as you saw, the three different pages that we printed from the software. And that's all I want on the doormat. I didn't really care anything about, you know, a saying anything like that. You saw us, we just set up the design and this is it. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down and piece the design together. But don't forget that we do have that really great video already on our YouTube channel that tells you a little bit more about piecing together multiple pages for a larger design. All right, so once that's done, we're just going to flip it over and then go ahead and center it on our mat. Now you can break out the tape measure if you want. Um, I don't, I just kind of wing it, unfortunately. Um, and then of course, if you want, you can go ahead and remove the tag. So then we're going to cover with our butcher paper. 
Now I'm going to press a total of three times. You're gonna see one, two, three. That way we get the entire design, okay? Well, we are pressing at 400 degrees for 60 seconds each time. Now this is one of the harder projects to do sublimation with a regular heat press, just because most heat presses do not have this large of a pressing area, unless you have, you know, unless you've specifically bought one larger, which is just unusual if you're a beginner. But um, the Easy Press works really, really great on these, and being able to do these larger items is really beneficial. It's a great reason to have it on hand. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek. Ta-da! There we go. So it came out really, really well. You'll notice I did choose a design with bright colors. That way it would show up on this gray background because that's always something to worry about anytime you're pressing on something that's not white. And I also like using anything that has patterns and kind of watercolor shading just because it can help hide a lot of errors. <laughs> now that we have any here, this turned out really well. And you can see, let me hold it up for you. Very good color saturation. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Hopefully you guys like it. And like I said in the designing, really the key to these is being able to add the personalization. I didn't with this one just because I didn't need to, but these are really great sellers, especially around the holidays when you can start adding those personal touches. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So guys, how did you feel about our sublimation doormat? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know, these are really great to make year round. And while this one is a head start on my Christmas crafting, you know, there are tons of ideas to make these for the summer or just year round designs and fall right around the corner. So don't feel like you have to wait till Christmas. You can stock up on these at your local store and just make them to your heart's content. Now, of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. I love all the support that you show for us here. It really means a lot to me. And guys, I am going to wrap it up for today, but I appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you again next time.